Hello YouTube, so it's me again, so yep, I uh, got my Mac back, it's now Sunday the 10th, um, so it's uh, it's working pretty well, uh, I was actually kind of lost a few days without it because I just had my Vista computer, but uh, that's okay, I'm sure there are worse things that can happen, uh, but anyway, so what I am doing now, uh, see this, I'm running VMware Fusion on my Mac, and um, I'm running over CDs and stuff, I just sat there real. Okay. So this is VMware Fusion, and what I'm installing right here, so essentially it's a virtual machine. This is the, this is Windows 7 Beta 1, uh, Build 7000, just released today. So, yeah, I'm one of these people that likes experimenting with new technology, although this time I'm taking a different approach than I did when I installed Vista, and there's the download. I actually downloaded it on the Vista PC and then burned it there. Well, that's neither here nor there. Um, anyway, so when I tried uh, the beta of uh, Windows Vista, which would have been back in uh, June 2006, well, anyways, it was a disaster, and I installed it on... I stupidly installed it on what was my main PC, because I was planning on, well, rebuilding it anyway, but uh, it was... If you think Vista was bad in its early days when it was an actual full-fledged operating system, or at least release worthy after uh, RC2. Um, well, it was really bad when it was beta. In fact, it was about as non-functional as you could get. Um, so anyway, so here I'm still working. It's uh, still waiting for files to expand, but well, we'll just uh, let that go for a little bit. But yeah, and uh, right now it's a demo of VMware Fusion that I'm running right now. Um, but it should run okay. Um, I've got it allocated for a gig of memory. This MacBook, actually I should say, has been uh, upgraded somewhat from its original specs. It's, well, dual core, which came with originally, um, or Core 2 Duo, uh, it's Intel. Um, but it's now running 4 gigs of RAM. Well, actually, well, it was running 4 gigs of RAM before it died. Um, but now it's an advantage because I can run things like this. And actually, if I can find my full copy of Windows XP, I'm going to throw that in uh, VMware Fusion permanently, and uh, I'm debating right now if I want to actually purchase a copy, given as I'm not one for pirating software because I've had problems with that, and, you know, so I'm not going to do that. But anyway, so, yeah, um, I'll be back shortly after this uh, is done installing, and I'll give you my first impressions of uh, Windows 7. Although, it couldn't be much worse than my initial impressions of Vista, and frankly, if Microsoft drops the ball with this one the way they did with Vista, well, they're, frankly, up a certain creek without a paddle. Although, considering this is not a completely new concept operating system, which is actually what I think a lot of people are expecting Windows 7 was going to be, essentially... I would call it an improved version of Windows 7. I know some people who have tried it, or Windows Vista, and I know some people who have tried it are saying this really is Service Pack 2 of Windows Vista and really should be offered to customers free of charge, but that's not really Microsoft's way. Um, so I'll be back shortly and I will give you my review. Okay, so now we're about to boot up. Now I've been playing around with it uh, just for a few minutes. So starting Windows, there's the new Windows Start screen thing. Oh, now here's where it's a little tricky in the virtual machine. It does this little unexpected light show upon starting, although so far that's the only little quirk that I've found with it. Yeah, so this is Windows 7 running on the Mac, rather the MacBook through the secondary screen. Compatibility issues with McAfee, 
Although, really, I've actually gotten it working, but uh, that message still comes up. That's uh, McAfee uh, Internet Security Suite 2008. Um, but so far, it runs a lot smoother than it did when I first installed uh, Windows XP. Uh, and that was the final version. Um, just a little under two years ago now. Uh, so some minor changes. Start menu. Same design, which is actually one of the things I'm disappointed of. Because this is one of the things I did not like in uh, Vista. So generally I just go back to the uh, classic start menu. Uh, some minor redesigns. Uh, this is Internet Explorer 8, which actually I've been running a beta of this on another computer and actually so far it's not too bad, although there are uh, issues with some websites. YouTube. Now right now it's not running the arrow interface. Um, at least I think as far as I know it's still called arrow. Well it is actually faster amazingly than uh, Windows Vista is on my actual Windows Vista PC. Go figure an operating system that's actually an upgrade. Uh, so, right now, here we go. Now that's just from the virtual machine, but right now I've just got it set up for a 40 gig hard drive. Um, I don't know. Now, I've, I haven't done a lot of playing around with this. Uh, control panel, still basically are very very similar to what you get in Vista. Essentially it is what I would call at this point a redesign of Vista with obviously uh, some of the internal quirks uh, fixed at least to a certain extent. Uh, if you look at the windows like, there's your documents folder now just with some minor redesigns that is obviously a, uh, a windows Vista menu. or uh, Windows Vista screen. The overall design is fairly similar. So I'm going to play around with this a little more uh, and then I'll upload another video. So I've only just got this running but so far and I'm actually impressed with the speed because right now essentially the virtual machine that I have this set up in it's running one gig of RAM which I've always found Vista to be somewhat clunky with. It's It appears to be at least uh, from initial impressions to be a much lighter operating system which is what Microsoft is promising essentially right now it just oh and yeah, that's the new uh, Windows media player um, but essentially now it looks like they took Vista and did a fairly thorough redesign and removed most of the problems of course time will tell um, now one thing that I'm I want to look into is uh, the compatibility issues um, that initially existed with Vista even months after its release. Um, from what I've heard from other people that have tried this, it's not as bad in uh, in Windows 7 and apparently with uh, compatibility um, you can identify which when if you put in a program which Windows operating system do you last remember it functioning with and apparently it goes all the way back to Windows 95 although I haven't tested that so that's uh, something I'm going to test before I get back uh, but essentially, yeah, that's uh, my first impressions are positive. Uh, by this point, when I was testing the uh, the public release of Vista, I was about ready to reinstall XP on my computer because I gave up on that almost immediately. Uh, but it seems to be a step in the right direction, but like I said, time will tell. So I'll see y'all later.